Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to talk to you about how a wireless microphone works and what technologies and components are in play to make this magic happen. Kettner Creative is an audiovisual company based out of Vancouver, BC. We produce videos like this all the time. So if you're interested in sound equipment, lighting, video, or the event industry as a whole, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. So we're all familiar with wired microphones. These convert sound to electronic signal and they send it over a cable. What a wireless microphone does is it replaces that cable with a radio signal. So much like the radio, so much like the radio in your car, there's a radio station that's a transmitter and your car is a receiver. Here, the microphone is the transmitter. So you can be a wireless handheld microphone like this or it can be a body pack like this. This body pack can have all different types of inputs. You can have an instrument cable to hook up to a guitar. So if you're a band, you can have a wireless guitar signal. Or here we have a lapel mic, and this clips onto your shirt, like the one I'm wearing, uh, for wireless, hands-free communication as well. So both of these are examples of radio transmitters. Now, this is the radio receiver. So in live events, Radios have their own block of frequencies, just like cell phones, just like TV stations. Um, most commonly, we're around the 500 hertz right now. The 700 hertz are legal and the 600 hertz are being phased out. So if you have any of those older microphone systems, uh, please look up on the FCC or whatever your governing body website is and make sure that the microphones that you're operating are not illegal because the frequencies have been changing and they're changed quite fast in the last couple of years. So, now that we have that digression, the radio signal comes from the microphone through the antennas into the receiver that's listening for that specific frequencies. Now, there are two types of radio frequencies or radio transmission when it comes to microphones. One is analog. This is just live over the air. You're just broadcasting the sound coming from the microphone and anybody with a radio receiver can listen to it. The second is an encrypted version. So if you have a huge concert tour and you don't want a fan showing up with a radio and screwing things up, then you can have an encrypted uh, radio signal. And this means that you literally need to pair them. They share an encryption key between the microphone and the receiver, and it makes it exponentially harder for any other signal to interfere with that, uh, that sound that's coming through the microphone, through the air, to the receiver. So that's the basic components of how a wireless microphone works. It's very similar to the radio in your car, just slightly different technologies, but the same principles are in play. You have a transmitter, which is any one of these, and you have the receiver and an antenna. And they're both analog and digital versions of it. We have a follow-up blog post linked in the comment section below. But also, if you have any other questions that this video did not answer, please ask it in the comment section below, and we'll make a follow-up video to help you answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching.